One of the challenges that people raise to individual liberty and the free markets that often accompany individual liberty is that it's atomizing, destructive of community. This is an old charge. It goes back at least to Marx, who argued that what happens under commercial societies is that people begin to view one another as competitors. I succeed by making you fail or by achieving over you. So I no longer see you as my brother in arms. I see you as my enemy, my competitor. There's some truth to this. Um, there certainly is in commercial society an element of competition, of competitiveness. But what that charge and what Marx himself doesn't notice is that there is also an enormous amount of cooperation. A commercial society cannot succeed without cooperation. Now this aspect of commercial society was illustrated at least as far back as Adam Smith's Wealth of Nations. In 1776, when the Wealth of Nations came out, Adam Smith used the example of a day laborer, the lowest of the low day laborer in Scotland, who has a woolen coat. Think of the coat that that laborer wears. As tattered and as inexpensive as it might be, how many people must have played some role in bringing that coat to him? So you think about the people who sewed it and cut it and dyed it, the people who transported the materials. Think about the sheep farm where the wool was gathered and the dyers and the cutters and the transporters. Once you start elaborating on all of the people who played some role in bringing that coat, you begin to appreciate just how many people had to cooperate at all of these very many stages in order to bring just the simple woolen coat. Now, if you bring that insight into the 21st century, you think about the enormous number of goods and services that we have and how dependent they are on the widespread, extensive cooperation of millions of unknown people, that is, people who don't know one another, who must cooperate in order to bring these goods and services to markets. So there certainly is competition. But you cannot understand the commercial society without also understanding its necessary component of cooperation.